Hey guys, just wanted to do another little quick video um, showing off this new uh, band I got for my Nintendo Labo kit. Uh, it's a band made by Sweatproof Gaming. They're a very small store, uh, which I'll link in the description, that does uh, literally just this guy and a grips for a pro controller. And I bought this, it was about 15 bucks. Uh, it's a little expensive, but they're a very small store. Like, just one product, so I figured. You know why not support small businesses, it's a good thing to do. Uh, but I figured I'd show it off, give it a try, and uh, see what I think. Give it, I guess, a review? Is that what it is? Um, they have a tutorial online as well as the shipping. Uh, I think it was in total 18 bucks with the shipping. Not too bad, I live in America, so probably uh, a little bit harder for outside of there. Uh, but here's my lab kit. I've been using this ribbon to keep it on my head, and it is not good. And it's made a lot of these VR games very dizzying. Just let me, uh... Uh, tilt it down a bit for the Labo VR view. Oh, huh. um, and it's made VR games very dizzying as far as Labo goes. I have a Oculus Go. I wanted to have a work party, and it also gives me kind of a dizzying feeling just because it's so the quality is just not there. Um, it's hard to kind of focus. I'm hoping this will help with that dizziness. Maybe VR. Maybe I'm not meant for VR, uh, but hopefully this will help just a bit. Yeah, this is a very jank setup. Anyways, they have a little tutorial online. I'm not going to go through that with you guys right now. I'm going to set it up myself. But I'll let you know how easy it is to set up. Uh, and we'll get back to you in just a second. Thank you. Just wanted to come back real quick and show off these little pads that they included in the uh, kit. These are for your head to make it a little bit softer because this is very, fairly hard plastic on the actual Labo headset. Um, so these are meant to make it a little bit more comforting, which is... Honestly, surprising that Nintendo didn't have this uh, for the actual kit itself because they have these little foam. Let me see that these little foam spots to kind of protect your Switch and make it a little bit smoother. And it would have been nice to have these for the actual headset itself. But I guess that's to prevent you from really uh, having this on your face for too long. So that's, I guess, that's not really the point of what they're trying to do here. Be back in a second. Alrighty, we're back. We have the strap set up. It took literally five minutes to set up. Super easy. And uh, it doesn't really... You're not risking too much damage to the actual cardboard itself. It just sits on it. And there's a little strap thing, buckle thing on the back of it. Which you can adjust at three points. The top, the left, and the right. Uh, super easy. Not, not a challenge at all. And, uh... It's pretty cool. Um... Oh, by the way. Not sponsored video. We are not sponsored by this product. I turn it on my switch from here. Uh, I think I have to slide it out. I don't get my switch out of here though. That's the real question. There we go. Alrighty. And it sits on perfectly, and then you have your uh you have your Joy-Cons. And you are ready for some wonderfully <laughs> uh screen doored Nintendo VR gaming. Yeah. Anyway, uh that's the that's the video. Nothing really much else to do. It's a cool product. Like I said, 18 bucks with shipping. And uh, delivered in about a week. Pretty cool. Sweatproof Gaming, based in New York. New York, according to this email that I have. Yeah, cool. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe, whatever. We have videos. We do things. It's cool. Bye. Alright, I was already pushed down by this thing. I'm gonna play Zelda. Miku, how would you like to try on VR? VR. How about you, Nala? Would you like to sp experience the third dimension? Riku is not impressed by the head strap. Probably because cats can't sweat. Nala, on the other hand, likes the form-fitting design. Isn't that right, Nala? <laughs> 